Hey everybody, what I'm about to attempt is I got another grinderino and I want to make this guy here a sub 250. Now I've made a few of these, there's a little grinderino there, a little one there. In a minute we'll uh, put them on the scale and see what they ended up and I'll go over the specs on them. But this one I want to be a 4S uh, little ripper and I want it to be... A sub 250 with the battery up in the air flying and but it's got to be a little ripper so let's uh let's weigh these other two just as for comparison real quick all right well the first one up is gonna be this little this 4s now that is a uh, 6s stack in there and it is a tank I think the rush tank mini uh, VTX up in there with a Cadex cam Got some Emacs motors on here. The motors are not 6s, but everything else on this quad is But I'm running this for us. So let's see what this thing weighs Now this thing is a little ripper. It is Pretty badass. All right 229 without the battery 314 with the battery so she's over the 250 and this is flying like ready to fly that's a ready to fly weight okay now the this is a 6s this thing is not light it is 261 and so 650 6s smallest success I got is 369 so she's way over and by the way this 4s was also a 650 it's the smallest 4s that I got all right so both of these are over the limit and my goal is to make another one but to do it in a sub 250 so let's get into that all right, for this build, what we're going to be using is, of course, the Grinderino frame kit. I'm going to put a Cadex camera on it. I'm going to try. I've never used one of these yet. The Lumineer. It's supposed to be new. All-in-one. It's supposed to be good. The uh, Umagod air lights. 1605 3600s. I have, I've been wanting to use these. I got a couple sets of those. Uh, 600 watt little VTX. These things work pretty good. I've used them before. And a pretty lightweight. And the smallest little ELRS receiver. I've, I use this in uh, a couple of quads. They work good. Uh, I'm going to take all this stuff out of the packaging and I want to put it on the scale in its raw form before I start building it just to see where we're at as far as weight to see if it's even going to be possible. So let's start unwrapping this stuff. Alright, we'll get started with the frame. I know this isn't going to be exact. Set it already. 53. Alright, let's add the hardware bag. Mm, these motors are going to bring it up. Uh, what 
is that a 650 4S? Is this going to put us up over the top? Uh, let's see. Oh, damn. So, we know that we are 17 grams over so it's still not a deal breaker because we're not going to be using all that hardware we're not going to be using all that wire um 17 grams i could always get some smaller batteries i, I think i do have some smaller 4s batteries 181 without the battery and it'll probably be less than that like i said after we get rid of that stuff all right, so I'm going to uh, start putting this thing together. All right, guys, that's it. It's pretty simple. I'm going to snug this thing down, give it a alcohol wipe, and give her a, a prime and a paint. And I'm going to be painting the standoffs a uh, different color than the frame. Um, thinking about doing this light blue uh, nope I don't have one this color I'm gonna do this color on this quad here and it should go good with them air light motors so I'll be back after I get this thing hung up all right guys you can see how I paint mine I'll just take a clothes hanger and some fishing line and string it up and I'm gonna go outside do a little prime coat and then do a top coat and then I'll be back when she's all painted up. All right, well, I'm done painting this thing up. It turned out pretty good. No issues. She's going to get all beat to hell anyway. So I got her all painted. I got the standoffs painted in white. And I'm going to cut this thing down and get this all in one. Start uh, doing some prep soldering and get our power wires and cap and everything soldered on and start assembling this thing all right i'm finally getting somewhere with this thing uh, i had a little bit of a hang up with the the motors with this thing with the the betaflight 4.5 software i had to upgrade my betaflight i don't know if i mentioned that i probably did um but uh the uh, the same problem I had with uh, Betaflight 442, um, the motor direction, so I had to go into uh, BL Heli Suite 32 and uh, get the motor direction correct. Then I got all that together, I got the VTX uh, soldered in, I'm getting ready to mount the motor. I got the receiver bound and flashed and working correctly, everything is working correctly. Um, so I'm getting ready to get the camera set up, VTX set up, and we're getting close to being able to fly this thing. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, finally got her all together. Got the all-in-one. It's that new Lumineer Lux. Um, I think it's a 3540 amp all-in-one. It's got the new beta flight four five got a 600 watt vtx in there got the air light motors caddx camera coarse grinderino frame all painted up i'm probably gonna put some white tape on there i don't like those zip ties but i'm impatient i want to go fly this thing uh everything is tuned uh it's arming and getting ready to do a test flight i got a little whip antenna there in the back uh seems to be working fine on my other ones got uh six 650 rdq uh 4s on here smallest 4s i have and i'm ready to weigh this thing the goal was to have a ripper it's got to be a ripper it can't just be a piece of crap under 250 it's got to be freaking awesome and be under 250 that's the goal so let's wait a thing. all right We've got our scale turning on is it a sub 250 
No, it's not. It's damn close though. Smaller battery, three, four grams. We are golden. I don't care. I think mission accomplished in my book. It's pretty damn close. I don't know how I could, I could save a few grams somewhere. Maybe them zip ties will give me a gram. I don't know. Who cares? All right, I'm going to go fly this thing. Thanks for watching, guys. There will be a Ripper video soon on all my little grinderinos. Got my 6S. Got my other little Ford and 6S. And this is a 4 or 6S, actually. All right, thanks for watching, guys.